Buenos, buenos días a todos, soy Laura Chonchi. Hello, I am Laura Chonchi. I'm an Italian artist who has been invited to Ventana 2020 with the project State of Christ. This project talks about a personal journey uh, that is also depicted into a book. So this is a book I wrote before I came to Australia uh, last year. So this uh, book talks about Laura's uh, transition into a transformation that is spiritual, uh, physical, as well as energetic. This project or this uh, exhibition has got three parts. So the first part is a collection of um, images that Laura has collected in the span of a year, what she's gone through in the last year. So the journey uh, Laura shows in the exhibition, uh, it starts in Colombia, then it goes to Italy, and it uh, then goes to, comes to Australia. So those were the three places Laura has been working with. This journey started when Laura was looking for a cure of cancer. So it was in the research Laura did of getting healed, not only in a non-conventional way. So the second part of the exhibition is about some artworks Laura made last year in Mildura. It's an iconographic figure uh, Laura created. So this was when Laura wanted to work with um, an energy that's into you, that is not good, but instead of uh, fighting against it, just living with it and understanding it. And this we can also do uh, through, our, uh, through our community. So the first of the paintings Laura made herself um, the second one was the community in Mildura, where this exhibition took place last year, and the community could uh, create, based on the same iconography, could create their own work. And the third one on display has been uh, made by the Frankston community. So the idea Laura has is to have 101 done of these iconographies in 101 different communities. So the, the third part of this exhibition, of this work, is the one you see at Laura's back. This installation here is part of uh, the culmination of a residency Laura did for a month in the Frankston Art Center. Um, during these weeks before the opening, um, the Laura used the shamanic drum and we worked with the sound of the shamanic drum and the result is what you see here on the ground. So the other part of this exhibition is a video. And it's a video uh, in which you can see Laura cleaning uh, or wiping uh, the desert of Australia. It's an action that's impossible to do. This cleansing is a um, metaphoric cleansing, so in which Laura is cleaning the energy of the environment. And uh, what you can see in the video is her cleaning the desert of Australia and there is music to it, and the music is um, the cleansing Laura had done by a shaman in, um, in Colombia. So both cleansings are together in the same video. So in the four paintings that are part of this third section of the exhibition, Laura depicted two, um, two photographies with the Australian bush and two photographies with the Colombian bush. 
Um, in the photos, you can see like superposed windows, Italian windows. And these windows, it, it reflects like the home of the human being. So something that you recognize immediately. So on top of the um, exhibition, which was created uh, on the 27th of February, is a big talisman, um, which is important in this uh, exhibition. So the talisman is called the Merkaba, and it, rep it represents a uh, shape that is an energy everybody carries in itself. It's a platonic, it's two platonic bodies. So this energetic body, uh, it used to move, uh, yeah, like in times before. When it did this, it gave you the opportunity to connect with higher beings, higher energy. So today this structure is fixed, it doesn't move anymore, and uh, that is because we are, as human, a human race, intoxicated. But there are some uh, exercises, meditative exercises one can make, and those exercises, via those exercises, you can start moving this again. So to construct this uh, geometrical form, so it uh, gives you the opportunity to open from the state of the non-material to the material. So when Laura created it, it was uh, to allow people to get like fresh air, new air around. So that is what happens if you come close to the talisman. So the feathers you see in the talisman are eagle feathers, and the eagle, eagle's feathers are uh, known in these traditions, like uh, they clean and um, connect you also to higher beings.